Welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. This right here, what I'm about to show you guys, this is the leftist view. This is the ideal world that leftists supposedly want to live in. It's crazy how left-wingers in just a couple generations went from ardent supporters of free speech and freedom of expression to complete and utter fascists. And yes, I know, I know, that word has lost meaning these days because of the left's use of it. If you call everybody a fascist, then who really is a fascist? The word itself loses meaning. But in the truest sense of the word, in the original definition of the word, this is fascism. In other words, left-wingers are exactly what they tell us they aren't. They're exactly what they tell us they're fighting against. We are seeing the rise of Marxism and fascism in a different form. Let's call it technocratic fascism and technocratic Marxism, where the technocratic elite control everything you do, everything you say, and if you question the approved orthodoxy, well, essentially you get depersoned and the Gestapo shows up at your home. It sounds like science fiction, but it isn't. It's exactly what's happening. It's certainly happening abroad and also brewing at home. I got a bunch of clips to show you guys. I mean, just massive, huge red flags. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so Twitter today was filled with these horrible warning signs. And like I always say, if you want to see what the future holds, simply look at America's allies and you'll see exactly where you're headed you'll see your future look at Australia look at the United Kingdom and look at Canada these three nations are always a couple decades ahead in this slow march towards socialism here's an incident that's currently going viral once again British police officers show up at somebody's home after he posted something the regime doesn't approve of on his social media account hello my name's Sean I'm a senior nurse I work for the NHS yep Name and number, please, mate. Yeah, PC Green, Echo Bravo 428. I'm Joe, PC Turner, Hastings Police Station, Thank you. So what's this about then? So it was just a few I won't concerns. film you, I'll just get it recorded. Yeah, no, that's yeah. fine. Um, just a few concerns. He's smelly you know. right now, sorry. It's right. <laughs> He's like a mop, he just picks everything up. <laughs> He's lovely. What's his name? Uh, Klaus. So why are you here today, sorry? No, you, you can all sit down, it's yeah, not a problem. You've literally just missed the missus and that. They've gone out like yeah. 10 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what's the issue? So it was just to, you know, obviously what we've been told, that you might have a few concerns, a few things that are bothering you at the moment. Yeah. Um, whether there's That's anything... bothering everyone else in the country right now. So what are the concerns you're here for? Because this is religious discrimination right now, you know. Because you wouldn't be knocking on Muslims' doors if they had this conversation. Because I already know why you're here. So this is religious... Why, why do you think we're here? I don't know. What's the priest told you? They just... People have raised concerns. What concerns? About your views. What views? Whether, that you've got concerns about what's going on in Australia. Yeah, so I'm an I'm a Orthodox Christian. Now you've turned up at my house because I went and see my priest. So I'm going to get you all on film because this is going straight to my solicitor. So what is, what are your concerns? Is there anything that we can help with? No, firstly, I don't mean any disrespect to any of you. I don't want to sound abrupt here if you can tell me why you're here. So, so I think as PC Sam's explains, um, so there was a report about some beliefs being expressed. So the reason I'm here is because I work for the NHS. And if you're willing... I'm happy to talk and listen with you no, that's about fine. if you've got any concerns about your well-being. No, I'm fine. Um, I'm so fine. Find... Yeah, Klaus, out. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, because no, he's just jarring the worst. You can sit down, mate. No, not see, so my understanding is, now I'm not a police officer, I'm a nurse, so my understanding is... If... So because I've questioned about the church not acting on the behalf of Christians, you're now turning up here with mental health nurses, assuming that I'm some right-wing nutter. So no one assumes anything. Can what? I explain my point of view? And you're happy, I'm happy to discuss No, no, that's fine, so, because I, I... British police and a psychologist show up at this man's house because he posted on social media that Christians must stand up, and this was after an Islamist attacked a bishop in Australia. This, my friends, is the new meta, where governments control the social media companies, they control the algorithms, they see everything, they have eyes everywhere, and the moment you step out of line, police are sent to your home. How many of these clips have we covered where people are arrested, where people are accosted and harassed by police officers for simply posting a benign statement online on their social media accounts? We've seen laws passed in some of these countries that make it a criminal offense to quote misgender someone and we saw another example out of the UK where a woman supposedly misgendered another individual that she had been interacting with and what happened police showed up to her home and arrested her we saw another example where a young girl who was actually on the spectrum simply telling a British police officer that she looks like her quote lesbian Nana 
and then of course police officers followed her home and arrested her on suspicion of hate speech. This is the world that leftists are attempting to create. This is what they openly advocate for. They tell us openly, with their anti-First Amendment stances, the new leftist stance is that the First Amendment is outdated, the First Amendment gets in the way, but rather they envision a world where the powerful elite, where the globalist cabal, where government gets to decide what is appropriate and what isn't, what is accepted speech and what is illegal speech. As shocking as that may seem. And that's not an exaggeration, this is what they believe. A world where government gets to dictate what is said, what information is allowed to be spread. That seems to be the official stance in the UK, north of the border of the United States and Canada, and of course in Australia and New Zealand. It's not like they're even trying to hide it, I mean their officials literally say it. Here's Australian e-safety commissioner, a woman by the name of Julie Inman Grant, basically saying it proudly. Well, we have a range of um, graduated powers. Um, there could be civil proceedings and we could take them to court or we could fine them. Of course, the quantum of the fine would depend on the gravity of the non-compliance, but we can use graduated tools like linked to leash and notices. So if they fail to remove the content, then we can go to the search engines such as Google or Bing to really minimize the amount of content the Australians can see. And here's a spokesperson for the Australian police, again saying the exact same thing. I also want to stress that there is misinformation being communicated across social media, and people should not share any of that information. The source of information should be from police and law enforcement authorities, and if people have concerns, they should check our websites, our socials, and any other direct news from law enforcement about current information. If we have current credible information about any risk or threat to the community, we will let them know. We will share that with the community. So please be assured that police will be the source of truth and not social media and misinformation. These are the kinds of statements you'd expect to hear from a George Orwell novel from 1984. This is what you associate with the hermit kingdom of North Korea, but it's no longer a fringe view, it's now the official view of leftist parties and leftist governments across the globe. And many people will say, well, you know, those countries are lost, we're not there yet, we have the constitution, we have this, that, and the other, which is true to a certain extent, but even with all of those checks and balances, even with those safety barriers, it's not as if it isn't happening. We all saw the Twitter files. And again, a lot of people don't seem to be paying attention. When those files initially dropped, I think back in 2022, it was shocking, but it shouldn't have been. Because not only was the writing on the wall, but again, leftists were actively celebrating it. We all remember the shadowy cabal article post-2020, the brazen openness of which it was celebrated, and of course, clips like this, where they were saying the quiet part out loud. We're holding this hearing, and we engage regularly with tech and social media companies because they are arguably best positioned to sound the alarm if and when another external actor attempts to interfere in our democratic discourse. First, because their technical capacity and security acumen allows them to detect malicious activity on their platforms and make attributions through technical indicators that are available only to the companies themselves. And second, because we cannot have complete confidence that the White House will allow the intelligence community to fully and promptly inform Congress if it detects foreign interference, especially if that interference appears to assist the president's reelection. That was Adam Schiff in the summer before the 2020 election, speaking to big tech executives, essentially laying out the plan. Of course, everything that he said was under the guise of stopping Russia from infiltrating our elections and influencing our elections. But what he was really saying and what he really meant, the actual translation was, we need social media companies to put their thumb on the scale to control speech, to control information, in order to help orchestrate our preferred election outcome. It's the same thing. Your government is headed in the exact same direction. Let's not forget Joe Biden and his attempt to launch a disinformation branch of government, a supposed US Ministry of Truth, heed the warning people. Leftists are openly advocating for technocratic fascism, for the global elite to monitor everything you do, everything you say, everywhere you go, and of course to control how you do it, what you say, where you go, and how you go about it, all by means of force. 
by threat of imprisonment. People are tweeting totally benign statements online and having police show up at their homes. And notice how it's only one group that happens to represent the establishment's opposition. It's always the same side that ends up being the target. Left-wingers can openly call for violence and violent insurrection of government and overtake of society. Other religious groups can say whatever they want in terms of conquering foreign nations. But if you're on the other side that's perceived as falling under the right-wing or conservative banner, well, if you say anything, even if it's completely benign, well, then get ready for a show of force. The writing's on the wall, folks. The warning signs are flashing before your eyes. The question is, are you paying attention?